All right, so now we have a gold tone OB3, which stands for Orange Blossom 3, and it's nicknamed the Twanger. Let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs> famous banjo played by Jane uh, J.D. Crow called The Banger, and I have played The Banger, and The Banger is an unbelievable banjo, because J.D. played it for probably 50 years, and the, the sound just went through it. And it had a tone ring in it, uh, and if you're looking at a banjo like this, you probably realize that most banjos have a tone ring, and there are holes drilled in it, and there's 20 holes. And Gibson made a, uh, a few banjos that they didn't drill the hole, so it's a, called a solid tone ring, and this has a solid tone ring in it. And that solid tone ring uh, makes the banjo have more volume, and it just cuts. So that's one of the advantages of the twanger. So if we're looking at the uh, banjo itself, we'll see that it has copied a lot of the features from a pre-war Gibson, which would be the... Uh, Presto tailpiece, all right, and then we have the one-piece armrest, which is right here, okay, and um, really nice tension hoop, one-piece flange, uh, we won't explain that, but, you know, that's just what you call it, and then we uh, go up the neck, and we it's, it has a leaves and bows pattern, uh, this particular pattern came out in about 1937. Now they, in 1929, they had a pattern that was very similar to this, but it had, each of the inlays had more intricacy to it. So they simplified it in 1937 and put it on the RB75s, okay? And this banjo has a standard nut, which is cool. And as we go up the banjo, you'll see it says, it has a double cut headstock most of the gold tone banjos have a, what's called a fiddle headstock, which looks like an upside down fiddle, okay? The banjos that most of your heroes play has a double cut headstock like this one. Uh, and then of course that is a Gibson type inlay right there. And uh, this is a mahogany banjo, really nice mahogany. And it has two concentric rings in it. So they've gone to some effort to uh, make it look like the original Gibson banjos. And uh, anyway, if you have any question on the twanger, just give us a call. It's, it's technically an OB3. And uh, we'll be glad to answer any questions you have. Or just go to the site first, uh, banjowarehouse.com. You'll see additional pictures of the banjo, and you will also see some descriptions of it. So you guys have a great day, and we will talk to you later.